We're gonna go off now to shoot number one of the day, so let's do this. And he's trying to change angles and stuff as well. Good morning guys! It's gonna be a very, very cold day today. I think we have minus eight degrees. Uh, we are just gonna go and get our hair done this morning for another TV shoot. Today is gonna to be another very, very challenging day. So I hope you can guys, you guys can come with me and see how it is to actually work with a real Japanese TV crew and not just with the director of Ask Japanese who's behind the camera right now. Don't stumble there. Yay! So it's gonna be another exciting day. I'm looking forward to seeing all the new challenges that are going to await for me because last uh, yesterday was quite challenging as well. If you have missed the video from yesterday, that's actually going to be up on our channel as well. So don't miss to click the link so you see what actually happened the first day where we were up for like 21 hours. Quite a challenging day. So yes, let's head into this and start day two. Okay, got my makeup done and my hair styled the exact way as it looked yesterday. This is one of the things to look out for because you need to make sure that if you shoot something over two days that it's supposed to happen in one day, you wear the exact same thing, nothing can be different and you cannot forget an item, which is a thing that I've done before that you really need to look out for that. So all the items have to be the exact way that they were the day before. So that's one thing. Be really careful about that. Please cut that part. Anyways, we're gonna go off now to shoot number one of the day. So let's do this. The place where we were actually shooting over the last two days is called Saijo and it's part of Higashi Hiroshima and this place is actually famous for making sake, Japanese traditional sake. So there are loads and loads of sake factories here and people are quite passionate about the sake that they produce here. So that's also going to be featured in the final video. And here are a lot of sake factories and everyone is very proud of this sake they produce. You can see loads and loads of chimneys all around the area are famous sake factories. One of them for example is right behind me. And everyone is very proud of this sake they produce here. So I'm going to learn a lot about sake today as well. Okay, we're just finishing up the shoot. We're in a Japanese tea shop now and we're taking the last images. So first of all, we got served tea and we enjoyed the tea and ate some sweets with it. And now there's an extra shooting, just close up of the ladies making the tea. So you have an extra footage that you can then layer up onto the other image. So it's usually good to have an image from far away and then zoom in and have a small image that you then take separately to actually preserve the quality instead of zooming. And what I also find very interesting is that the director has the script with him and he constantly keeps making notes on them, he takes notes of the names of people, he takes notes if a shop name is maybe slightly different than in the script, or if you add anything, he adds that into the script straight away. So later on for the editing process, he already knows all the details and he, don't has. he doesn't have to go and research them again.
Okay, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually film some food. So it's gonna be a food shooting, but uh, it's actually inside this beautiful Japanese garden and the staff is just waiting for the okay from the inside. And it is actually pretty cold. And if you don't believe me, look how cold it is. All this water here has been freezing. Uh, so we've all been trying our best with little heating patches to keep ourselves warm while we're strolling down the streets outside. Yeah, but I, I started the shooting with my coat open, so I can't change that. So you have to leave it open for the rest of the shoot because um, you need to make sure that all the movies add up together and you look the same in all of them. So I'm going to stay strong and hopefully I'm going to have some tasty food in a moment. Okay, and next thing actually, even though we're featuring the restaurant in here, the garden is the point of the restaurant. So what the cameraman has been doing, he's been filming inside the garden, he's been doing close-up shots and then further away shots. And now we're going to film the garden one more time actually from the inside, which I find interesting because the main is actually not the garden itself, but it adds the atmosphere. And uh, you always need to think of how can you make this place look interesting and how many cuts can you put in to emphasize how good this place is. And he's trying to change angles and stuff as well. Angles, light, on the overall setting and balance of it. Okay, right now we're inside a Japanese bar and the air is rich with the smell of tasty, tasty food that we just tried. And you can see that, for example, what happens is usually there will be a theme decided for the shoot. And this time the shoot is to there to promote the new stores and the new shops, the new restaurants that are here in the area right now in order to support them. And it's a theme that overall connects all of those places together so that's why we're here so this place for example opened just recently right in front of the station and one thing i personally very much appreciate if you look up on the signs there's also some english so if you're a foreigner and you come here you're also able to order the food without problems from the menu so yeah that was quite interesting we tasted some very very interesting dishes here hiroshima is known for their kaki which are oysters and they were quite tasty since this feature is a lot about Japanese sake, uh, one thing that this store here is doing, they are serving Japanese sake, plus they're serving it in their own style because they're using it for their very own original cocktails. So if you have a look up here, there is the Shuwaxavel Shuwawa Strawberry, and that's the one that's currently getting lit up over here. Can you have a look? Do you see it? So that's the Shuwawa Strawberry, and it has Japanese sake, but it also has carbonated water in it and some fresh strawberries which means if you mix it it's also a bit of liquor in there if you mix it it will foam up and it will sparkle so that's why it's a sparkly strawberry <laughs> Finally! 
Hiroshima Okonomiyaki. I've been meaning to eat this for years, for years since coming to Japan. And finally, I'm gonna have real, authentic Hiroshima Okonomiyaki. And look at the noodles in them. The noodles are black, so it's a special type of Hiroshima Okonomiyaki. I can't wait to try this. It looks so tasty. Oh my gosh. The camera is, the, the camera is shaking because the director wants to eat it so badly too. Ah! Yes, I'm gonna stop talking so I can eat. Let's eat, let's eat. Listen to the sound of it sizzling. Oh, I can't wait to try this. Why are you doing this? It's a little bit of a Look at this, it's steaming hot. Very, very hot. My very, very first Hiroshima Okinomiyaki. Because it's been taking so long. I used to love Okinomiyaki the first time I came to Japan, and now it's a chance. I know you want me to eat this, but it's too hot. Don't push me, don't push me, otherwise I'll burn my tongue. Okay. One more for luck. ま、これはバレない。あ、これはバレない。コメントしなくてもいいんですかもう美味しくてこれそれだけに集中したい。どう思ったらコメントします。やばい。it's so tasty! Hey guys, and now I'm back in the hotel. And actually there were so many more things in this shoot that I couldn't even show you because we were just so busy there was literally one thing after another and that's the thing it's very very well coordinated when you actually go on a shoot with a Japanese TV program because every time is completely scheduled which place you're going to be going and when you're going to have lunch and where you're going to go to the next place so everything is totally on time and on schedule and you try to keep that up because you don't want to make the people of the stores or the other people that are like supposed to meet you you don't want to make any of them wait you know you're you don't want to cause anyone trouble so you try to be on time let them all know what's happening so everything is like a perfect melody that people have to play with and even if things maybe get changed a little bit along the lines you try to keep up with the melody and I think that's a great talent that the directors have to keep this all in balance so I was very impressed to see just how well everyone worked together how strong everyone was as a team people featured each other people helped each other people gave each other feedback and reminded each other of certain things for example don't forget to make a memo of this and stuff and especially with the director so the director is just the director has, been, has to be everywhere, it's fascinating. You know, he sometimes I could even see the directors go behind the camera, I could see the directors go in front of the camera exactly saying what kind of cut they want, what kind of other scenario they want, constantly taking notes, constantly talking with the people, with the other people on uh, the areas, asking them for more details, finding out details, just making sure that everything goes smooth, that it's a great product in the end, and that you have all the data right and correctly, so it's easier later for when you actually start editing. So that was a fantastic opportunity, I am so, so grateful. It was a, a rush, those two days were a rush, so many things happened, and I learned so much, and I hope that you guys could pick up one or the other thing, 
part is to work with the TV crew here in Japan and maybe compare it to your country. Do you have any experience? Have you ever seen anything maybe you've experienced done? Maybe you've done some you know, practical experience or you volunteered or maybe you've seen it on a TV show in your country and seen that maybe things work a little differently. If so, then let us know. I'm looking forward to reading your comments and just exchanging how the world of media is maybe different in comparison to Japan. So thank you very much for staying with us for this journey. Look forward to reading your comments and don't forget to subscribe if you're actually new to our channel because there's going to be more exciting videos here in Japan. We're always trying to bring you something new and something different and this time it was different. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a lovely evening and I'll catch you soon. Bye!